Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So I saw there was a story where. Okay. So imagine this situation. All right. I've got my imagination cap on. It looks like it's a nice cap. Thank you. So you are a bar owner. I own a and bar. You're in, and you have your, your apartments upstairs. Right? Calm down, Ralph. What does that mean? Get him another drink. Oh, <laughs> get him another one. I was getting in. I was. Oh, method, you're. Oh, gotcha. So you're, up, you're you're upstairs. You're about to go to bed. Oh, I'm counting money. Um, we'll we'll say your uh, partner is downstairs running oh, the bar. God, god dang it! Uh, we need more Hazo Cuervo. Hey, oh, okay. And uh, you hear a crash, bang, boom, and. It is the is it the it's the Louisville Metropolitan Police Department who drove their car right into your bar. I don't know what Louisville is famous for. Being in Kentucky. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I'm in Kentucky. Sure. I should have had a Thanks. draw. Oh, wait, no, Louis Metropolitan. Maybe it is not Louisville. All right, fair enough. St. Louis. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> then everybody's singing Nelly songs Truth in my not, head. Yeah, they're all wearing band aids on their face. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's wild. <laughs> Drop so, down and get your eagle on, girl. <laughs> They crash into the bar, okay. and then obviously you're upstairs. You're like, "What the hell, goddamn Sam Rain?" Got <laughs> yeah, it. what the heck is going on? So you walk downstairs, uh-uh. and they're and they they're aggressive towards you. What? And and, and uh, they end up taking your partner to jail. Oof. Wait, not he's in, mad that you just broke into their bar with your car. Not in his brand new Air Force Ones. So. I guess the point of what I'm, I don't know the guy they ended up they ended up break, they ended up crashing in this bar they ended up saying that one guy assaulted them like okay so but but I mean they're just pissed the cops drove into their bar like it was, so uh, so the cops drove into their bar the guy probably got belligerent was I was like would, what the hell are you doing they're like all right buddy I'm but, taking yeah, you in exactly kind of exactly that so but the point of this is it's and there's a couple things that have happened with the same police department. So it said a couple weeks ago, they ended up somehow flipping a pr- police cruiser over in like a chase. So like, and then like a week later, they crash into a goddamn bar. Okay. So, and then there was another story in the Reddit comments. This is why I love Reddit. Okay. They're like, isn't this the same one that this happened? So I guess like it was like, I think it was 2019, 2020. I guess there was three officers off duty at a house drunk playing russian roulette and one of them killed another one because like there was two of them drinking playing russian roulette and there was another one there that was one of their partners that was like y'all shouldn't be doing this and they they did the thing and he pointed the gun and shot the female cop and killed her like in an apartment wow so like the whole point of all this was like, what the hell was going on like with this police department that all these wild ass things are happening? This is the same police department, huh? All three of those yeah, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see, these police departments are like like the uh like the bad Taco Bell, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like this, you know, really it is. It's like the bad Taco Bell, the one you know they're gonna mess up your order. They're gonna you're gonna be light on the on the ground beef. You know, you can't it's a systematic thing. It's man. like you order twice as much as you need because they yeah. know they're skimping on all the insides. Yeah. Yeah, you like have to take the meat from two tacos, put it in one just to make one regular taco. Yeah. It's very clear that somebody has to go down and somebody in the management, you just honestly, you need to fire like 80% of the people and just like start over because start over. There's like, sorry, it, you got a bad element in there, right? Because they're not nobody. Somebody's not doing their job at the top for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it usually rolls downhill. If, yeah. if you have a and like, and here's the thing: iceberg, iceberg effect. If those are the three things that pop out, what the hell else is happening in that, there? That's the that's the it's the bad Taco Bell man. They're stealing merchandise. It's like I guarantee uh, you, their their lockup looks absolutely insane. <laughs> Nothing like, accounted for. It's like for. they're the, the cops from Superbad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just like exactly. in the street shooting guns. They're drunk. <laughs> they're just like. Yeah, they're like, what the hell do you want to do, McLovin? And he's like, I want to drive fast. And then they, like, take him out back and show him how to have a good time. Yeah, it's funny, Jonas. I actually used to dream about being a cop, man. 
I don't. I wouldn't say like you know, like I lay down at night and I used to fantasize about like, it. Please, Jesus, let <laughs> but, me be an officer, an arm of the law. <laughs> like I would have like uh, daydreams about like fighting crime and like busting perps. What was your favorite perp dream? That that never happened. But <laughs> you I did. Just used said to, you were daydreaming about no, perps. That never happened. Oh, um, you want to be like Denzel in Training Day, where you were like, hm, ah, ah, here's some angel dust, rookie. <laughs> no, but I actually I did actually go out for like the uh, the the program. I. Uh, I took the uh, the initial test because you have to take like an academic test where essentially they like give you a workbook that you have to look through and like learn a bunch of shit from it. Okay. And then they you take like a test. Passed that with like flying colors. Did, did they have to give you a psyche vow to do that? Nah, I don't know if I got to that level. Oh, that would be like after, like May probably have. right before you got accepted. Or so something. then came like the physical challenge part of it. And yeah. uh, I've been going to the gym at that point in time like uh, pretty, pretty heavily. And uh, I was ready for like you know the uh, the uh, cardiovascular portion of it, bro. I couldn't bench press what they wanted me to bench press, and that's what kind of kicked me out. But I did the push ups, sit ups, no problem. And then I couldn't bench press what they asked me to bench press. That's and I was embarrassed, man, because I was I was like one of the bigger looking dudes there, but I was just not very strong, apparently. I guess, man. I guess nice. I was just fake strong. How do you think your life would be different if that would have went a different way? Wow. Brother, Maybe that's what it was meant to be. Brother, I would have been a I would have been a goddamn police officer. In what city? In freaking Pennsylvania. Ew. Erie, Pennsylvania. You would have been a Pennsylvania boy. I would have been a Pens Erie, Pennsylvania police officer. Holy shit, Jones. You just I just saw the multiverse. <laughs> I did. I did. I You're saw Peter it. Parker right now. Just like oh. <sighs> Bro, I would have been such a good cop, too, because I would have been like, you know, I uphold the law, but I'm still, you know, down here with the people type shit. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, here comes TNT. Yeah. You'd have oh, your own little, uh, like, your own little clique of narcs that, like, worked with you and stuff. Bro, I'd be all stressed out. I'd be balding right now. <laughs> you'd have a you'd have a wife at home. You'd have six cop kids. Oh, I would not have a wife, but I would definitely have, like, probably a dog or some shit. Yeah. I could see myself having like a cop dog. Yeah, having a Dalmatian. Oh, I'm in the canine unit. Oh uh, my God, dude. I'm on the canine. You're busting unit. perps for drugs. You're like, hey, little man, what are you doing with all this pot? And he's like, sorry, sir. I just want to smoke a doob. And you're like, drugs kill. Oh my God. I could be so different. Everything could have been different. I don't know for the better. I might have gotten shot. <laughs> Just want to, like, troll the, a criminal until he shot you? I don't see that. I troll a criminal until they use it. <laughs> what I would do? I could see myself doing that. <laughs> I could see myself just trolling like a perp. Like just some drunk lady. Bro, did you? <laughs> I watched this video, fam. Look, man. Let me. Oh, I hate to do this, man. But I'm going to look for it. Real quick, it was the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life, dude. Is it watchable if, on the thing? If I can type these words in and find it, dude. I'm white. Yes, please. No, no. Okay, well, I thought I would find. Let me type in one more word. Airport, dude. If you can find this video, damn it, man. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna look anymore. But yeah, there was a video where this lady was in the airport and she was clearly intoxicated, like clearly intoxicated. And she, uh, the only word she could say was, I'm white. And it was. All she kept saying was, I'm white? Yeah. Okay. And, and the cops were like, yeah, but you're causing the disturbance. She was like, well, I'm white. So I don't know. All I said was, I'm white. All I'm saying. And it. It was all she said. It was a four minute video. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen, dude. And then at the very end of the video, she was like, well, what if I was black? And I was like, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so excited, dude. And she finally said it. So I don't know. That was just, I just thought that was funny. I, we should watch that video. I can't find this. Oh, okay. But I could have been a cop, truth, though. Truth not facts. Could have been a cop. <laughs> yeah. Life would have been different. Maybe we'll talk verse. about a different timeline that you could have gone down on the next episode, you know, so you can have some existential crisis like you just gave me. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm going to think about that for the for the next week and a half. <laughs> God damn it, I could have been a fucking cop. <laughs> That's all could have been episode. something with my life. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com. Fucking loser. 
for Captain TNT over there, Detective TNT. Fucking failure. TNT. I mean, yeah, what's up? I'm out. We out. <laughs>